happened, gave his transcribed interview on February 28th and lied throughout his testimony. Here's just one egregious example of Hunter's perjury. He lied to the committee um, on important details concerning his money demands and threats to CFC in text messages on July 30th and 31st, 2017. He leveraged his father's presence next to him in that infamous text to strong arm CFC to paying Hunter immediately. Jim Biden also lied extensively throughout his transcribed interview on February 21st and perjured himself. An example of that, on page 100 of his transcript, Jim is asked specifically, do you recall having a meeting with Hunter Biden, Tony Bobolinsky, and Joe Biden? Jim's response, absolutely not. The committee was so shocked by his perjury that they asked him the same question multiple times. Each time he denied meeting with me and Joe Biden. After the committee showed him text messages confirming that I met with Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and Jim Biden at the Beverly Hilton in May 2017, Jim Biden, with a former U.S. attorney lawyer sitting next to him, still denied that meeting took place. Hunter Biden, in his own transcribed interview, confirmed that that meeting took place. Hunter confirmed his uncle perjured himself in front of this committee. I'm simply here to tell the truth to the American people. And I. In delving into the allegations brought forth by Tony Bobolinsky against Hunter Biden, it underscores the paramount significance of integrity, accountability, and responsibility among public figures. Tony Bobolinsky's critique is construed as a poignant reflection on the integrity of the democratic framework and the palpable apprehension regarding the corrosion of truth within political narratives. His insistence on the imperative of truthfulness to the American populace appears to signal deep-seated apprehensions concerning the repercussions of deceit and duplicity in the public sphere. The discourse sparked by Tony Bobolinsky's comments encapsulates a pervasive unease surrounding political malfeasance and the exploitation of authority by those occupying influential positions. His testimonial spotlighting queries into the authenticity and integrity of political leadership, coupled with the ramifications of deception on societal faith and cohesion, resonates profoundly. Tony Bobolinsky's portrayal of Hunter Biden's actions as tantamount to perjury serves as a poignant indictment, emblematic of the breakdown in moral compass and ethical standards, particularly within the echelons of political power. Hunter Biden's testimony, in turn, can be construed as a reflection of democratic anxieties regarding the waning trust in public institutions and the urgent imperative for governance, characterized by transparency and answerability. 